Hey everyone, um, I have no idea what the topic of this video is really going to be. Uh, this is more like a vlog, I guess, and maybe some makeup at the end. I just wanted to start by thanking all of you for being understanding, for all the literally hundreds of supportive and uplifting and thoughtful and kind comments on my video, on my Facebook page, um, on Twitter, personal emails, personal messages. I love you too. I wish I had the time um, to answer every single one of them. To say it's overwhelming, the outpouring of uh, love that I have felt throughout the entire YouTube community, it's... I mean, I miss Rookie and it's horrible. I mean, it's not, I know it's, some people will go, it's a dog, Marnie, get over it. But, um, you know, it's, it's, to me, it's a tragedy. I don't care how long he lived, but to see so much positivity and love makes something like that not worth it, but not such a horrible experience. So I truly thank all of you. I love all of you. Um, you know, it just... Not enough words, so thank you. It's uh, It's been good and then bad. Today is uh, tough. We brought Rookie, I brought Rookie home today um, in a nice little box. I didn't think the box would be that tiny, but... Anyway, so that's been a little hard. Um, I've got a lot of questions asking me about my family and the dogs and how they're all doing. The answer is um, my sons are totally fine. The day of, they were sad. Um, real quickly, because a lot of you aren't on Facebook, so you have no idea what actually happened. Um, Friday the 13th, that evening, Rookie's legs, back legs, gave out. And he'd been having some health issues for about a week before that with balance and things like that. <clears throat> and we took him to the emergency vet, and they basically said it's time, and that we could either put him down Friday night or they could make him comfortable, we could take him home and we could explore our options in the morning. They didn't actually think he was in any pain, but... And we knew. I mean, he's 15 and a half. Um, I knew, but my husband was having a really hard time. He'd been out of town the whole week, so I think Rookie was just waiting for him to come home. So they gave him some painkillers. We took him home. He was throwing up in the night and it was obvious very early in the morning it was not going to get better. So we took him back to our vet Saturday morning. We did not take our boys with us. We left them at home. I just, there's some things they don't need to see, I think. Um, and, uh, and my husband and I, neither one of us has ever had to put down one of our pets. Like, we've never witnessed it, so we didn't want to take them not knowing what to expect. I may feel differently the next time, but that's how we decided to do it. Anyway, um, so uh, we brought him to our vet Saturday the 14th and we decided it was time to let him go. It was very peaceful and fast. It went much faster than I expected. Um, and Saturday was not a good day. And my husband's been really good. He's been trying to cheer me up. He's cracking me up. He's bought me some extravagant presents, which are nice, but are just not going to give me my dog back. But um, we started looking for a new puppy because we realized um, that even though we thought three dogs was too many, two is not enough. So I want a new Westie. He wants a new I'm a runner. <laughs> so the new battle is who's going to win. It's really hard to find a Westie puppy of the quality that I want. And I'm trying really hard to get a dog from Rookie's line. Like either from his father's kennel or his mother's kennel. And they're both Westminster show dogs. So hard to get a dog from those lines. But I'm working on it. <clears throat> Not in a rush. The dogs themselves are fine. Um, honestly, Rookie ignored Bosley and Mimi. He really didn't like them. He was a one-person dog. He was my baby. And he ignored everybody else in the family. I mean, really. He never played with the kids. Um, he tolerated my husband, but he was mine. So, 
Bosley and Mimi really never had anything to do with him, and there was over a 12-year age gap between Mimi and Rookie. So, other than cuddling sometimes at night, once in a while, initiated by Mimi, nothing. So, they were really clingy and sweet Saturday and Sunday, um, but I think it's because they knew their humans were upset. Um, you know, I was in bed all day Saturday and Sunday, mostly just bawling. So, they stayed close, but I, I don't think they know or care who a rookie is. Um, so they're fine. They're good. And the boys are fine. They were sad Saturday. Clearly Mimi's fine. And, uh, and then they, you know, they're, they're children. They got over pretty quickly. I think it'll be different with Bosley and Mimi. They're much closer to those two, but, um, we're not gonna go there now. So anyway, uh, Mimi started obedience classes. My vet suggested we try bonding a little and it is working. We have bumped into one class and we've been training every day and we're working on, watch me. Good girl. Good girl. You did it. You are so smart when you want to be. Mwah. So it's working. Uh, she was really terrible in the class though, but okay. And there was a six month old wine runner puppy. Oh my God cutest dog I've ever seen and so well behaved but I cannot have two wine runners I will lose my mind and you will never see me again because I'll have to be hospitalized right memers right okay so that's it on the dog stuff because I'll start crying again and you don't want to see that I was just at my youngest son's elementary school the fifth grade has their annual chili cook-off and they break up into teams like five teams per class and they each team votes on a chili recipe to make it school all the ingredients have to be pre-cooked there's no cooking so um, it limits some of the options, but anyway, I just ate 25 different samples of chili, so, anyway, yeah, but something came in the mail to cheer me up, and, um, I thought I would unbox it or unwrap it in front of you. I made a very tiny order on Sleek Makeup, uh, website, and if none of you have ever received a package from England before, this, I took off my address label, so you can't track me down but um it came in just this smushy and I just love how it says royal mail how cute is that I love it I don't know okay it's the little things right guys so I am going to unbox this this is not a it's not a treat so nosy and it has my uh, invoice so I can tell you how much everything costs that's good and then it came wrapped in this, I, didn't, I only ordered three things. Yeah, two things. Really? Three. Two things. That stinks. Okay, so I would say, let me tell you this, shipping is $10 period to the US, no matter how much or how little you buy. So really, you get more bang for your buck if you order more stuff. But I, that's all I wanted. So this is what I bought. And now that I say that, there's more things that I want. But isn't that always the case? Then there's bubble wrap in here. They do a very good job packing. Okay, 30 minutes later, it's all unwrapped. Here we go. So I got the Sleek Glow Face and Body Highlighter. I got it in Peach Shimmer. This was $10. Their tax is included. They call it a VAT. It's a value-added tax. It's kind of nice because you don't have to figure out what tax is going to be. Kind of annoying because their tax rate is much higher than the United States, so I would just rather have to figure out tax. Anyway, it uh, it says using a brush, sweep across the bronzing strips, tap the brush on the back of your hand to remove excess powder, apply wear desire to the face and chest area, blend well for smooth and even application. I have heard this is way sparkly, but I don't know. I love highlighters, if you didn't notice by my one of my most recent videos. It comes in this. And, oh, looks very much like, I would say, Bobbi Brown Shimmer Strips or, is it Amber Diamonds, the Dior, whatever. You know, this looks like a million others, but it was only $10. So I guess if you had a really tiny brush, you could use this as eyeshadow too. That's just one, the bottom shade, and that's the middle shade you get the idea that's another shade this yeah these would be pretty but if you swirl them are you eating my scissors me if you swirl it all together it's like a nice champagne -y.
I mean, I don't see myself carrying this in my purse, but and I've made a mess of the white strip. Okay. So that's that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have fun with that. And then the other thing I bought was the Sleek Blush by 3, which everybody's been talking about. And it's a... Uh, I got it in lace. And I will say that both of these purchases were completely influenced by Laura Lollipop26 tweeting about it. Would have never even known about this stuff, but no, she had to go tweeting about it. Cannot open this. I'll just rip it open. I mean, Mimi, can kill that. Okay. It just is in your usual sleek uh, thing. In this, there's three colors. And whoa. Okay. <laughs> Wow! This is true on camera. This is really what it looks like. Not what I was thinking. Wow. That's the light color. Woohoo! Mama! Oh, what am I going to do with this? Seriously? What am I going to do with these? Okay. This is what happens when you mail order. Hmm. Well... I'm not returning this. Um, it was $15.99 and it's really bright, but maybe with a really light hand. You never know. Um, and a tan. We'll just, this'll, this'll be interesting. I'll keep you posted on what I end up doing with this. Maybe finding a home with someone else, but we'll see. We'll see. I say that and then there's so, so many times that I end up loving it later, so I'll, I'll just, I'm not going to write it off just yet. Anyway, so um, that's that's all I've got for you. That's about all I'm up to doing today. Uh, it's been more draining experience this last week than I thought. Um, it's not like I'm walking around all day long, like crying, um, but it's just draining. Just it's tiring. Um, and I'm saying I'm a lot. I did also uh, become a Sigma affiliate. Is that what it's called? So, if you feel like buying some brushes, do that. Uh, click on that. Um, I'm not going to sit here and push their stuff at you, but uh, y'all know that I buy their brushes. So, not all of their brushes, but I do like the ones I have. So, if you were in the market for any Sigma brushes anyway, then now you can click on there and, and do it through mine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, thank you, thank you for everything. I just... I don't know if it's coming across as sincerely as I feel it, but really, um, I treasured having y'all in my life during this period. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video, where I promise I will be more cheerful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.